Okay, hi ladies. Um, I know I said I I just did an update on um my one to ninety bo um, whew, uh, um uh uh um as uh, symptoms. Sorry, I'm like I'm like flipping out here, and um and uh. Um, so my husband was going to buy salt because we have a lot of snow right now and, um, and, uh, I didn't do a live reaction because, um, I didn't expect anything at only 9 DBO, um, but, um, here it is, um, oh god, <laughs> oops. Um, oh my gosh, you're not going to see it, but there is a line there. It's very, very, very faint, and um, I'm freaking out right now, and um, I just finished crying, and um, I thought I'd update you when I'm still in, in complete shock, because um, there is a line there, and it came up within... Um, the three to five minute mark, and, um, it's, it's very faint, but it's there, like, you don't have to, like, squint and, or anything, and when I seen it, I almost passed out, because, like, with my daughter, I don't know why my head is itchy, oh my god, my, I feel like I'm a wreck right now, um, okay, so, with my daughter, it took over two year two years to get see and, um, I'm scared, I'm nervous, and, um, with my miscarriages, I've never gotten, um, I've never gotten, a, um, a, 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 a test so soon, um, yeah, and the only time I got a test so soon was with with my my baby that's 17 weeks old I am so nervous I know we were trying to conceive and I'm praying for a sticky baby um, my emotions are all over the place um I will be testing at 11 DPO like I promised um please um keep me in your thoughts and your prayers and I'll we will be keeping all you ladies in my thoughts and prayers also um, I never expected, like, I never expected to, um, see a line on the first response, and, um, I know it's not an EVAP because, um, I've taken millions of first response, like, I, when I was trying to conceive our daughter, um, I spent hundreds of dollars on the first response, and, um, I never got an EVAP. Um, even with the time frame, I mean, over the time frame, unless I, uh, there were a couple of times where I saw gray lines or, or, or whatnot, like maybe the next day or hours after, but not within the time frame. Um, it is so faint, but it's there. Like I, I'm in shock right now and I'm scared. I'm nervous. There's so many emotions going through me. I want this to be real, but I won't believe it until it's, 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 um, I'm even stuttering. Oh my gosh. I won't believe it until it's, um, until it's, uh, until it, it's dark. Um, I know that 11 DPO, it should be, um, darker, um, Ladies, please do not give up hope because I suffer infertility and my OB, um, GYN told me when I got pregnant with, with my 17 week old baby that I beat the odds that just like one of my conditions, women have to see infertility specialists and, and be put on Clomid and it was the month before I was going to be put on Clomid and la -di da -di da and, and I have, like, so many different conditions, and I beat the odds 
after two and a two years and a bit with her and um whether you're going through IVF, um, IUI, um, you're just suffering infertility, unexplained infertility, um, you have PCOS, um, or whatnot, don't give up hope, ladies, because it does happen, and I know a lot of women that it has happened for, so please don't give up hope, I never expected it to happen, um, this month and I'm just praying for a sticky baby um this um will is with with the will and the grace of God um this is a sticky baby will be my last child um uh I feel like I'm gonna throw up right now um so uh blessings everyone and um I'll keep you updated. Okay, bye.